recommendation that if you take the proper steps and if you do everything I'm telling you to do now, it will definitely look better. But this is a foundation that you have to help. The foundation don't help you. I'm just saying. up we are back with another video welcome or welcome back into this video in my channel which is your channel we have the new foundation from gucci and the primer i know i took long but you guys know me when i have to do with foundations i have to take my time review it wear it and then sit here and give you my honest opinion but i'm ready now if you are ready keep on watching i'm so picky when i have to do with foundations that I actually review the new powder foundation from Fenty and that was a first impression and I'm feeling the urge to come back over here and do another video which I will with a wear test because you guys need to know how it works during the day you know you're gonna put it on and of course you're gonna go about your day and foundation they can be tricky guys I haven't watched no videos yet because I don't want my impression to change and that happens and after that we will pass to the application part of this video i will be zooming in so you can see the application from up close and my foundation came wrapped up in this plastic bag wrapped up with a tape i am not sure why would they do this gucci it is a luxury brand honey and my foundation with this it's actually like a really extremely super tacky but okay, the each is on, I just try to ignore that part. The lipstick comes in the same box. Where they, they got me was in the inside packaging. This is a so freaking bougie and locks, you name it. They gave us a glass, honey. We have glass and I really appreciate that because everything that is on top of my vanity have to be glass. And this is going on top of my vanity. You have the bottles, they are the same and they are see-through so you will be able to see the shade of the primer and the shade of the foundation through the bottle and i picked up mine on the shade 220 and it is lighter than my skin complexion by a hair which right now it does fit me i can get away with it but like in a month or two guys i am not gonna be able to get away with this i live in miami it's always hot it's always sunny and i will definitely be getting darker i totally suggest you guys if you haven't bought the foundation yet wait until the first go in sephora pick it up over there try some shades because it was extremely hard to pick up a shade at the gucci website okay, so we're gonna start with the primer the primer it is a 57 dollars primer that creates a luminous matte finish visible even tones and visible plum skin while creating a really soft glow primer have squirreline which will help with the moisture barrier skin hydrating and luminous also have powder technology for an elegant silky texture for better blendability and a natural finish and the primer also have elastomer technology i think it's called if i'm not mistaken for a soft focus effect which minimizes the look of pores and even texture so the primer is supposed to optimize the coverage of the foundation for all day wear it's supposed to be non-sticking and for all skin types the foundation it is 68 dollars and this one it is 220 and which it is a fair medium neutral undertones it's available in 40 different shades that is so good guys there is a shade there for everybody and it is made for all skin complexions and this foundation has soft focus powder which that helps with the blurring of imperfections pores and wrinkles in some foundations the soft focus does work they blur the pores and all that perfectly fine but there is some other foundations that they claim to have that but instead of the soft focus and blurting the pores and doing all that it kind of makes it worse so we have to be, be careful with that it's not supposed to be sticky it's supposed to be lightweight and it's supposed to be a buildable coverage so now let's 
put this baby to the test let me show you guys how it looks on the skin through application i am going to be zooming you in so let's come closer and one side of the face i'm going to be putting this primer on but in the other side of the face i'm going to be using my tatcha balm i am a true believer of this baby i am not a big fan of the liquid one this is the true and true like this really like covers my pores so let me start with the gucci primer i'm going to be putting it right here on my hand about that much it's good for half of my face and it feels really cooling really satisfying on the face this one from gucci guys it smells good but not a lot of people like this scent. i'm not going to lie to you it is a really strong scent like really perfumey it smells like perfume like so have that in mind if you don't like scents this does have a scent and it is a strong scent so now let's go in this side of the face and i'm gonna be using this one from tatcha so i'm gonna just be grabbing a little bit with my finger and i only put this primer from tatcha right here on my pores i don't like to put it on my whole face because i like to press it on my skin so it gets in there on my pores um i love the pump look how bougie this is and how elegant we get a gold pump that gold with that pink it is super pretty to so peep the shade this is 220 n and like i told you before it is a pinch lighter than my skin complexion which I am not so happy with that, but I wasn't going to like go nuts and order different foundations. It is a little lighter than my skin complexion, definitely. So let's blend this out. This foundation, it's a little bit drying. I just apply it to the skin and my face feels already dry. So I'm gonna be applying two more pumps. but once everything is already blent on the face I will fix it up so the foundation have the same scent as the primer and both of them smells the same as the bronzer and the powder that they released a couple of months ago so if you have them now you know how this foundation and this primer smell all right guys so I already finished applying the foundation through my whole face and I want you to peep something really quick and right here on the side of my nose let me go a little bit closer it is a patching on on me right here on the nostrils of my nose besides that it is looking really makeupy guys really really makeupy it is definitely not blurred in my pores this side that I have the Gucci primer I'm sure you could see it from there this it is way more blurred out than this right here besides that on this side i have also a lot of texture guys i didn't know i had so much little hairs and little fuzz on my face until i applied this foundation so does that say something i don't know i don't know I have a lot to say about this foundation, so stay tuned. I'm going to be using my Gucci primer. This is another packaging that it just drives me nuts. I love it. I love it. And I have mine on the shade 05. I'm going to be using my Sephora brush 05. This is a big old brush that I really, really, really like. And I'm just going to use this to settle a little bit right here. So it doesn't settle on my small lines and let me just go ahead and put a little bit of concealer let me do a little bit of soft contour and i'll be back so we are back i already contour my face and i already applied concealer now guys you saw me before i left i settled my face a little bit with the gucci powder because i didn't want my small lines to settle and my smile lines they already settle like hello it took me literally like five minutes not even that for me to contour my face and apply concealer and from here to now my smile lines they are already settled look at that can you see that 
why please like oh so annoying so 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 annoying and my face still feel a little bit tacky even though I set it with the Gucci powder. So I'm going to be using my Givenchy loose powder. I'm going to put a little bit more powder because I definitely need it. This powder, guys, it is everything to me. I know you guys okay. know that I like it. I only use products that I know I love, that I know they don't let me down through this wear test because I literally wanted to give this foundation my all in a fair, fair wear test. Now so time to bronze up. I'm gonna be using this Gucci bronzer. The packaging is killing the game. And I picked up mine on the shade Phi. I know, I know, I already know. I killed it with the shade. This is a so freaking reddish. And I know it doesn't match me, but don't judge me. I wanted the darkest shade. I just didn't know it was gonna be so red, man. Fuck. I can't go ham with this bronzer. I'm gonna be swatching this powder for you really quick on the back so of my hand. This hair. is how the powder and the bronzer looks, guys. They do have a beautiful 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 formula now let me zoom you out and let me get you off my grill and give you my final thoughts i'm gonna be inserting the clip that i recorded for you guys the other day and that was me wearing the foundation about eight hours after application and yes i only have one clip but i wear this foundation already for about four to five days they should act the same way through those days that i was wearing it with no hair my mascara smudging my eye makeup looks like shit please ignore the fact we're here for the foundation so right now it is about a something it's been about 10 hours since i applied my foundation in this side of the face i have the new gucci primer in this side of the face i don't have the primer let me start with my pores my pores they were looking the same way after I apply my foundation because this foundation it's not going to blur your pores it's not going to blur your imperfections none of that right here of course I was wearing a mask that's how it is right now and period it did come off so it's not trying for friendly it's going to come off the side with the primer I do feel that it's a little bit more satisfying than this side this side is a little bit like more oily I even feel it when I touch it but I don't want to touch it too much because I feel that it's like a cracking everywhere Take a final peek to my face and judge it for yourself and then I will give you my final thoughts. So now it's time for my raw opinion no BS guys and I just think that the claims of these foundations that should have been hey make sure you have a nice smooth canvas hey and make sure you exfoliate your face really 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 good hey and make sure you don't have no fuss on the little hairs around your face because everything will get worse everything will settle and everything will intensify I do appreciate the whole attention to details. I don't think I showed you guys this. I didn't. I forgot. Sorry. Didn't do my job good enough. So besides coming in these little boxes, you already know I love the inside packaging. They came with this two little pouch. So, so, so freaking pretty. I love it. Thank you and this is so you can put your foundation in here like this is something that i will do when i go traveling of course i will put my foundation in there and also it comes with this little thingy so pretty they definitely got it when it have to do with the attention to detail yeah. and for you to use this foundation you have to have like a porcelain face and no texture no wrinkles and no smile lines and no falls every time you're gonna use this foundation make sure that you exfoliate your face good enough because the foundation does settle in the little hairs we all have these little fuzz and these little hairs on the face 
I didn't even know I had them because I always exfoliate my face and right now I am freaking out because I am seeing them Do one of the top things that I'm always looking in the foundation it is to blur my pores I used to suffer from acne and then now I'm dealing with the texture on my face I have a pores right here and I hate to see them I'm always looking to cover them and it didn't help me at all with the pores it made it worse if anything don't do nothing leave them the same way but don't make them worse please I don't have wrinkles all I know is that if it didn't blur my pores I don't think it's gonna help with wrinkles and if it settle on my smile lines this fast if you have any other lines in your face I know they will settle too I really 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 wanted to like this foundation but I just think it's a foundation that it is a little bit complicated like you have to do a lot of work for this foundation to act the right way on your face it dries right away while you applying it it is already drying it claims that you can build it up up to uh, full coverage I don't think it has full coverage but it does have a really nice solid medium coverage for sure also a foundation that you need to set really good guys have that in mind don't put your foundation and grab a little compact powder and go through your face a little bit because it won't be a settle you have to use a loose powder make sure you settle your face take your time if you know that if you set your face the right way then trust me the foundation is gonna last longer and gonna... I have this little razor that comes with refills I also have this little things if I'm not mistaken, I bought it at Ulta, but they have it at Sephora, they have it at Walmart, they have it almost everywhere. And I did it before when I was testing the foundation. I, I didn't do it today because I wanted you guys to see everything. Like, ah! It made everything worse. You could see even the little hairs, like they're almost invisible. You could see them with this foundation if you don't shave them off. Trust so me, I know we shouldn't do all this. I mean, like, uh, come on. That's a lot of work, right? Before we're going with our foundation. Yes, I feel you. But if you take and you do the right steps, then the foundation, it's going to look a little better. I do think that there's a lot, a lot, a lot of room for improvement. And like the foundation formula, in my opinion, needs like a little bit more oil. So it's a little bit more like not on the do it side, but also not so drying. You don't use this foundation whenever you're in a rush because it will be a totally mess. It will be a mess. For you to use this foundation, use it for like a special event and make sure you have time to apply the right way, do the right steps. It is really complicated. If you don't wanna do all that, just skip the foundation, don't buy it. There is plenty, plenty, plenty of foundations that they're beautiful and they go in with no problem and then instead of you helping them, they help you. That's what we want. Let me stop talking about the foundation and let me go in with this baby really quick. I really haven't talked about this because I don't have nothing bad to say about this. I don't have nothing to say about this. I love it. I love the packaging. I love the way it smells. It is really hydrating. I will use this primer with some of my other foundations or I will use it by itself just to smooth out my face. I like the way it feels on the face. It feels really, really soft. The only pro that I can tell you about this primer is if you don't like scents, then this is not for you. But if scents don't bother you, then this is a really nice primer. But all right, babes, I hope that this video was helpful and thank you again for another great video. Comment down below and let me know what's up. If you already have this foundation and you feel the same way that I feel, let me know. I always love you guys' feedback. I love chit chatting back and forth with you guys. And thank you, thank you. I love you all so much. And I see you on the next one. Mwah. Bye, babes.